Hey, you, what is going on, guys? BSD Spear here back with another Destiny video. In today's video, we're continuing our series Lost Exotics. We're showing all the newer guardians of the game how to get the exotics from years one and two that can't be obtained through three of coins, exotic engrams, and Xur will not sell these weapons. Uh, in the last Lost Exotic video, we covered the sleeper simulant. If you guys want to check out that guide, be sure to click the link at the top of the screen now. However, in this video, we're covering the Chaperone. The Chaperone is an exotic shotgun that released with the Taken King expansion. Uh, now, the quest steps to get this gun actually can be quite difficult, but we're going to show you guys an easy way to do it, and hopefully, every one of you guys will be able to get your Chaperone before Gary blows it up in D2. That's right, Gary's going to destroy everyone's guns, so we got to get this gun as fast as we can before that release date. So, as always guys, drop a like if you enjoy the video, subscribe if you're new here, and let's get started with how to get the Chaperone in year 3. Alright, so in order to get this quest started, you do need the last word. Uh, the last word is obtained through RNG, so three of coins, exotic engrams. Uh, once you are level 40 and you have the last word, go talk to Amanda Holiday, uh, and she's going to give you Jolly Holiday quest line, uh, Shindig in the Crucible. Uh, this is going to be the first step to get the chaperone. Now, this first step is the step that gives a lot of people trouble. It requires you to go into the Crucible, uh, and using the last word, you have to get kills, but each time you die, it penalizes you and takes away a percentage. Each kill you get, it goes up, each head headshot is worth more, and sprees are worth the most. Uh, so in total, you have to have basically uh, a better kill ratio than death ratio uh, using the last word. However, there are some tips and tricks to help you guys with this because this is the hardest part of this quest line. So, just to show you guys what I'm talking about right now, I'm at 0%, right? Uh, and you can track your quest uh, as you're going too. So, once you get your first kill, you're going to see it goes up 1%, right? So, I got a kill worth 100 points. I come over here, I check, it's worth 1%, right? Alright, now, I just want to take a second and show you uh, basically how this first part of the quest line will go. Uh, so you get a kill, it goes up with 1%. If you die, it goes down 1%, as you can see right here. So that basically gives you an idea of what you're trying to do. So a massive tip that's going to help a lot of you guys, because I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like the last word. They don't like using it. Well, for this quest, you don't have to use it. You just have to equip it. Um, so your melee kills, your grenade kills, heavy special those kills all count towards your shindig and the crucible um, so with that being said what i would do if you're having trouble equip the last word whenever you have your super ready and you know you're going to get kills uh, as you can see here i'm currently at six percent on my bounty now i do have my nova bomb and watch how much it goes up uh, just from getting a breaker uh, right here on B. So one, two, three, four, double down, triple down, and a breaker. Come over here and let's check out my percentage. It was at six, now it's at 25. And that was from a Nova Bomb. That was not from Last Word Kills. So if you guys are having trouble uh, getting kills uh, with the Last Word equipped, go ahead and switch weapons uh, mid game. So I'm just going to show you right here. Uh, that guy killed me. I did switch. Uh, but as soon as I respawn, you'll see my percentage did not go down. So that's a tip to help you guys out, hopefully. Same thing with heavy. If you have heavy ammo, go ahead and equip the last word. So if you can get at least two of those kills, uh, you're going to keep going positive with your quest. Basically, the best way to look at this is not as a long grind, but as a slow process. Um, as long as you keep moving forward, keep progressing, keep increasing your percentage, uh, you will eventually uh, get it maxed out to the 100%. But the good news is every step after this is not as hard. This is literally the part that gives people the most trouble. Um, and so hopefully these few little tips will help you. 
Uh, one last tip to help you on this part uh, is if you want to, if you are winning, uh, but you don't have the last word equipped, go ahead and switch to the last word before the match ends. That way you get your win bonus, and that will count as, I think, 3% also uh, for your last word. Once you finally do max it out, uh, the next quest step will require you to go talk to Amanda Holiday And pat yourself on the back because that is actually pretty difficult to do. So the next quest step is actually kind of random in my opinion. Uh, it requires you to make a generous donation uh, to the Cryptarch. For this part, you want to make sure you have enough Glimmer. Uh, the generous donation is 15,000 Glimmer uh, that you get from the Cryptarch. So if you don't have enough Glimmer, you're going to have to do some farming uh, until you get enough for that. Go ahead and buy the uh, donation and then return back to Amanda Holiday. Once you give her the uh, donation, then what you'll have to do is you have to get shotgun kills either in the crucible or high level targets, aka uh, majors. Uh, now what I opted to do, I opted to just go into the crucible because I found that to be easier. The good thing about this part of the quest step is your deaths do not penalize you, it's just on that first step. So here. Uh, you can die as many times as you like, you just need shotgun kills. So in total, I think you need about uh, 36 shotgun kills. I believe each kill goes up 3%. So with a uh, 5, yeah, with a 5 kill, kill streak, I'm at 30%. So once you do get all of your shotgun kills, you'll see you get the quest step to visit Amanda Holiday again for your next step. Amanda Holiday is then going to tell you uh, that you need to complete the Shield Brothers Strike. Um, this will be a special version of the Shield Brothers, and it is matchmaking. The goal of this strike is you have to defeat both brothers using a shotgun. You do have the specialist uh, modifier, so your shotguns will do more damage. However, you don't actually have to lay the finishing blow on them with a shotgun. After that, you will want to return back to Amanda Holiday for the final time, uh, and she'll give you the last quest step, which is bide your time. Now, in order to get this weapon, uh, the chaperone, uh, you'll have to wait for the next weekly reset, unfortunately. Uh, so on Tuesday morning, go ahead and go to Amanda Holiday, and she will have your shiny new chaperone ready for you to play with in the Crucible. So there you go, guys. That is how to get a chaperone in year three of Destiny. Now, as I said, the uh, first step is the part that give a lot of people trouble. Um, a lot of people aren't used to the last word. They don't like using it in the Crucible. They don't like hand cannons. Whatever the issue may be, uh, these tips and tricks will hopefully help you guys out uh, to get this weapon, as I said, before Gary blows it up. Um, but so yeah, thank you so much guys for watching as always guys drop a like if you enjoyed the video Subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you guys next time. I'm BSD Spear, and I'm out